Hey guys, Doug here with another Tech Tip Tuesday. This one's going to be a quick one. We sell a lot of these Aeromotive regulators and they make all different sizes and styles for different applications, pump sizes, everything in between. One of the rising popularities is boost reference regulators for obvious reasons. People are adding blowers and turbos to practically everything. So in turn, they're needing a boost reference port on uh, regulators. If you're not familiar with that, what a boost reference port does is it adds pressure on top of spring pressure so that it can increase your fuel pressure one to one as your boost levels go one to one. So for instance, if you add 10 pounds of uh, boost to an engine, it's gonna take the intake manifold pressure, put it on top of your uh, fuel pressure regulator and add 10 pounds of fuel pressure to overcome that, that pressure inside of the engine against the fuel itself. So with that, one of the unique things about Aeromotive, they kept these uh, regulators super compact and one of their designs is how they bring the uh, air inlet in for the boost reference. It's actually right on the side here and we get a number of calls a year about this so I figured I would address it. Inside of this regulator, there's actually a spring. The fitting actually goes right there, which is fine if you're using their fitting. So their fitting is just hooked up for a regular like hose barb style or a, a hose to go on with a clamp. But what a lot of guys do is they pull out that and they use a push to connect line because it's easier, it's nicer, it's cleaner, and uh, it's no, you know, no clamps and that type of thing, it's easier to service. Where people get themselves in trouble is they crank this sucker down and what it does is it actually pinches the spring inside of here. So when you screw these style fittings in or you replace their factory fitting, you need to take careful uh, consideration on how far you're screwing it in because if you screw it in too far, it's gonna pinch the spring and all of a sudden you're actually just gonna have like as much fuel pressure as the fuel pump will make. And so I get calls, people saying, I can't bring my fuel pressure down. It's at 90 or 100 PSI all the time. It's because the spring is pinched and it's basically not allowing uh, pressure to be bled off and it's actually just pinning everything closed and creating a ton of pressure. So um, if you're changing the fitting out on this, be careful about how far you screw it in. If you have a different fitting, um, just kind of eyeball it and check it ahead of time. If you have a return style fuel system, there's no reason your fuel pressure should ever um, get way above what it's able to be unless you have some type of huge mechanical pump and a really small return line. So. Uh, if you have this or you have a friend having this issue, definitely send them this video. This will solve all their problems. Anyways, if you like this video, if it helped you, definitely comment below, like it, share it with a friend. We uh, definitely get our inspiration from you guys. Keep coming uh, with different questions and we will share them with you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay tuned.